when you take a Nissan 350Z, put on a Vortex supercharger, and then build it for drift, what happens? Drifting is about precision driving, extreme control, and of course, dependable and reliable horsepower. Blake Fuller in his Vortec equipped 350Z has all of that and more. All right, check this out. Vortec Superchargers on the property in Carson, California for the Nopi Drift event. Showcasing our new Nissan 350Z supercharger system for the 2003 to 2006 Nissan 350Z. You take our V2 S trim supercharger kit, you bolt it on your Z. Whether it's a 287 horsepower base model, we're going to send you off with 412. You want to roll in with a 300 horsepower high rev model, we're going to step you up to 440, nine pounds of boost. Air to air front mount intercooler, comes complete with fuel management system via FMU, high volume fuel pump. We use the unit chip program, which controls all of your timing management. We'll put this thing on the dyno, we get it all tuned up. Final air fuel ratio lands at about 11 to one, which is a real safe for pump fuel, bolt on in your driveway, not to mention 50 state smog legal. This car right here is a 2006 model. The supercharger system that we produce will fit currently 03 to 06 models. We're in production on a 2007 system. So all you guys from 03 to 07 are gonna be covered. All right, now, the second reason that we're here. We stepped up and sponsored a drift car. Nopi Drift Braille Auto, Blake Fuller. Maybe you heard of him. Number two in points right now, just a scratch out of the league on a killer run to go out there and hurt some feelings. We want to show you that these kids work great on the street, but they also kill it on the race. Track. Drifting, like seen in Nopi, requires a top driver. Blake Fuller is a consistent top 16 competitor who is a longtime racer, as well as a former Pikes Peak Rookie of the Year. So why did he choose Vortec? When building a drift car, a couple things you're going to be looking at. One, you're going to need a rear-wheel drive car that's extremely balanced so the driver feels comfortable. And you're also looking for something that's exciting for the fans, because drifting is about the fans. When we considered building a car for drifting, we chose the 350Z. And when we did that, we knew we had to add power. So what we looked at was, should we go turbo or supercharger? And the reason from my racing background that we chose the supercharger is to be able to have a car that is extremely predictable for the driver, where you can go out, you can give 110%, and you know that the kit and the car is going to give 110% back to you. We gained over 120 horsepower with the Braille 350Z, and that really changed the dynamics of the car. It made it extremely exciting to, and fun to watch. It also gave us uh, a lot of boost in the point standing because we're able out here at Nopi or Formula D to be able to really put the car right up to the limit because of the amount of power that we have. When it comes to the kit, the kit, one of the great things about it is you just bolt it on and you don't have to worry about anything else. And also, reliability-wise, once it is on the car, you don't have to do a lot of tweaking. It's already set from the factory the way that you want it. And it's a great choice for anybody out there with a 350Z. specializing performance parts for performance cars and one of the vendors we carry is Vortec. We've been a distributor for several years now and we specialize in the import kits. We sell a lot of the 350Z kits and uh, have had very good luck with them making a lot of our customers very happy. We always have the car show but we always uh, try to keep up with the latest trends and everything. We've had a drifting um, exhibition at many of our shows and our drag races in the last few years and this year we decided to go ahead and have a pro series and that's kind of where we are now. If Vortec is the choice of Blake Fuller, don't you think you should think about putting one on your Z? Learn more at VortexSuperchargers.com.